Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in. Today what we're going to talk about is how to build an Alexa app from Visual Studio. Now I've been a Visual Studio fan for many many years and when I moved into building Alexa apps I didn't want to leave all that behind. I think it provides an excellent development environment um, but the examples that are given for Alexa apps they they need to be tweaked a little bit in order to use from Visual Studio. Uh, I, I found when I first uh, started working with Alexa it was a frustrating experience and so today we're going to go over exactly how to convert the Alexa server app to Visual Studio so you can use the server app. Now first of all the server app I'm talking about is this one. Big Nerd Ranch has an excellent series of instructional um, uh, web pages here on how to build an Alexa app, your very first one. One of the resources that they use is the Alexa server app, which is a, a Node.js server that runs locally but um, imitates the Alexa server itself. So then you can build your skills locally without having to actually load them up on AWS servers. The app that they use for doing that is here, GitHub Matt Cruz Alexa App Server. So what we're going to do today is get this server running in Visual Studio. So if we put this away for a second, we're going to come over to Visual Studio and we're going to create a new project. So note that I'm going to use a blank Node.js console app. If you don't have the JavaScript in Node.js in your list, this is what you need to do. Come to here and get Node.js for Visual Studio. I'm going to assume you've already done that, so let's move on. If we create our blank app here, we're going to call it Alexa Server App. Oops, two P's. And hit OK. And we create a basic uh, application. So here we go, we have our app.js, does absolutely nothing except say hello world. So if we go to, what we're going to do is look over here in our file explorer and we'll see that we have application sitting here. Here in this folder we're going to pull down from GitHub the uh, code that's published for the server. So here's our Matt Cruz link. We're going to pull it into this folder. We're going to put it right inside the folder we just created because we're actually going to delete this in just a second. We're going to copy out the stuff we need. So now we've got our our folder here. You can see it, Alexa App Server. We're going to go in here. The files we need are examples, views, index, package, and you can you should probably copy the README too because they, they put a lot of work into this. They deserve the, the README to go with it. So we're going to copy this. We're going to go up and paste all this in. We're going to replace the two files. These two files that are being replaced are the package and the README here. So we're going to go ahead and replace those. And now we're done. So we've got the files we need out of here. We're going to go ahead and just delete these here. We're going to stay cleaned up and then we'll put this away. So you can see here all of our files nothing is included yet in our project. So we need our examples so we're going to include our examples. We need our views include those and by default when you create a project with Visual Studio it creates an app.js. We're going to delete that we don't need that. There was nothing in it anyway, so we're going to delete that and we're going to include our index.js, which is the standard when creating um, these uh, applications in other development environments. So we're going to include that. You can see here our libraries are missing. So we're going to right click on npm and install missing npm packages. Those will come up in just a second and we'll see them here. We see our node modules here and now we have all our NPM or all our modules. So normally what you do is set this as the standard startup file. 
but in this case the example file the example project that we downloaded the file we want is in examples here so this server.js we want this to be the startup file so we're going to set that and if we run this we'll see that everything builds and runs but we're getting errors so we're not serving static content because that folder doesn't exist yes it does um, we're not serving those modules because the server doesn't exist yes it does the problem here is our pathing so we're going to close this we're going to come into server.js this is where our server is initially created so those paths that we saw are from the point of view of this index file so we need to set our properties here using Alexa apps server.start we need to set the paths to those folders we do that like this so we're going to set public HTML to examples public HTML um, server dir is going to be the examples and apps is going to be here now if we run this we can see that we're loading the appropriate things server.js we've got our two apps if we look in here so we have hello world and guessing game if we look in our apps we have hello world you can see the name here and guessing game here these are the URLs that we need so in order to test and make sure that everything's running like it should we're gonna come to a browser and go to localhost 8080 Alexa guessing game refresh that and there it is we can also go to hello world and you can see down here our intent has changed so we know we're talking to the correct application so my name is there if we go back to our guessing game we can see the utterances have changed so we know everything's working good luck and hope you enjoy your Alexa development